ships on bigger of the waves are skimming there and summits to the verdant plains. Each horizon is a new beginning. Rise and reign. Chapter 19, verse 28, KJV. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Hello fellow wood shavers, Leroy here, Nomeo Shaves back with another shaving video. As you can see from the background, I am not at home, I am traveling. I would mentioned in my last video that I was actually I was supposed to go to Germany. Well that trip got cancelled and now I'm actually in Phoenix, Arizona. Been here a week. Yes, it's been hot. So, I figured I would bust out my Sterling Strawberry Lemonade Glacial Edition. Actually, it's the only edition. But this is actually what I shaved with while I was in the Philippines. Basically, this whole setup that I'm doing right now is what I use in the Philippines, minus the brush. I'm using a different brush, but I got that going. So this is the Glacial Strawberry Lemonade. I actually won this from Christopher David Bailey on one of his last giveaways. So thank you, Chris, if you ever watch this video. I really do appreciate this. This is actually a pretty good soap. Uh, what else? Oh, razor is going to be the trusty old Rockwell 6S. This is what I use as my travel razor. And you know, I've, I've got my, um, uh, travel commissary in there too but I think I, I wanted a DE today get in that a little bit later um, and I always use plate 4 uh, brush this is this is what's different so I used the smaller Omega brush when I was in the Philippines but this one is the Parasso brush board brush I love this handle love 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 this handle the knot I wish was it's, I like the size of the knot but it's not as dense as I want it to be kind of like a it's your typical Omega I guess what else? Oh, blade. I'm actually going with this Gillette Wilkinson sword. This is the same blade that I was using in the Philippines, and I have five or six shaves on it, and it was holding pretty well. As you can tell, I have quite a few days worth of growth. I think this... I don't think I've shaved since my last video, so it's been about a week. All right, now, I wanted something to drink during the shave. So this is LaCroix. Hey, sue me. I'm keto carnivore uh, pretty clean ingredients one thing I do like about this one is it doesn't say it has citric acid in it which look it up that's a good thing you don't want manufactured citric citric acid okay but what's funky look at the bottom I'm not sure exactly how this happened but out of eight cans only one had a flat bottom so cheers my friends Kind of nice when you're on keto, carnivore, whatever, and you want something bubbly, but you don't want to, you know, break the the keto ness of the, of the of your diet, and you don't want any sugar or anything. These I love these seltzer waters. I love them. All right, cheers. Ah, oh, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna put this blue water on my face. <laughs> Maybe lather or put the blade together i don't know yet play by ear one second yep When I first got this soap, I wasn't sure about it, but it actually kind of grew on me when I was in the Philippines. I ended up liking it. So now, let me just kind of rinse out the brush a little bit. Let's go. Let's get in here. All right, so I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. Some of you may or may not know, my mom actually lives in Arizona, and so I have some other family that, that live in Arizona too. Um, my mom, she's about a three hour drive from me right now, and then my dad and uncle, I think if I go a different way, they're, they're about two hours away. So, knock on wood, I don't have to work this weekend. So I'm gonna spend the weekend and go see some family, which it's long overdue, I mean, I, I I've seen my mom a couple times this year already. I saw her when I was in New Mexico earlier this year, which was great. Uh, I haven't seen my dad in, I want to say, I think it's been 10 years. Crazy, huh? Really crazy. Same with my uncle. Long time. Just stuff doesn't work out as planned. But anyways. 
right? Let's put a little bit more. Nice and thick, look at that. I'm gonna take all that stuff out and put it on my face too. No sense in wasting. Yeah, I mean, I've mentioned it before, I don't have the greatest relationship with my dad. Um, this probably isn't the time to go into all of it. Let's just say we don't have a very good relationship. <laughs> <laughs> kind of been that way since I was a kid but anyways that's beside the point I've forgiven all of all that he's done you know it's all all in the past Oh, I forgot to put down a towel so I can let this dry. Okay, okay. Later. You know, there's no sense in dwelling on the past and all that animosity. It just, it's not healthy. My sister's in the same boat, you know. She's like, you know what? It's the past. It's kind of like, let bygones be bygones. All we can do now is just move forward. So I chose a DE shave because I was hoping it was going to be a little bit faster. But I think it's going to take me a long time to build this lather. Got my hair getting in the way too. I don't follow white shaving news very closely, but I did notice that Blackland, they have released an adjustable. It looks killer. Uh, it's technically a three piece adjustable. But it, the head just twists for it to adjust the, the aggressiveness. It looks really nice, but it's pricey too. 300 and I think it was 325. Stainless steel. Ken Surfs did a review on it. I'm not sure who else. I think Lather Hog. I saw a video of his pop up today. I didn't watch it yet. A little bit more water. I just want to paint this in a little bit better. Blacklight make good, good razors of really good quality. I know they're, they're not cheap, but man, it's good quality. And made in the US. All right, let's see how sh what shape this blade is in. Let me get this stuff out of the way here. Yep, I'll have you guys. I'll just have you guys know that I have been pretty strict on my carnivore diet while I've been out here. Last night I did have a couple glasses of wine. And boy, I did pay for it this morning with a slight headache. All right here's the blade. You can see. I don't know if you can see in the light, but it, it, there is some use on it. Like I said, five, six shaves on this thing. Oh, check it out. I don't know if you guys can see this, but a part of the ink has <laughs> transferred to the head of my uh, Rockwell here. All right. All right, plate four. Rockwell 6S, I love this razor, I love it. I would buy this again, I really would. Holding strong. These really, really are good blades. Uh, they have a really pretty decent balance of sharpness and smoothness. They're probably not as, as sharp as say, like the Perma Sharp.
the comfort is just, it's insane. Kind of struggling, struggling a little bit. On my chin, chinny chin chin. Oh, got myself. I knew I would. Got a couple blemishes. Yeah, it's starting to kind of struggle a little bit. It's struggling, but it's not uncomfortable, if that makes any sense. It's struggling in the sense where I have to add a little bit of pressure. So how is everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Oh, I'm shaving a little bit early too. So I have to try to get a couple of reports done for Monday morning, but I'm not gonna have a chance to work on them over the weekend. new going on in my life I haven't been able to shave as much as I wanted to it's been crazy busy since I got back on my vacation um, yeah Not a bad first pass. Ooh. How did I get soap up there? Oh, I got it in my eye. No bueno. <laughs> crazy. Man, Sterling is a crazy good leather. It's hard to beat for the price. It really is. I'm looking forward to the their Black Friday. I'm gonna get me some Bonaparte. I want some more of that. I was thinking about getting two of the three ounces and then just stuffing them into one, 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 one big tub. I think they sell the three ounces for like eight dollars cheap. Yeah, in one of the Facebook forums, I asked um, Rod if they were going to offer it in a big tub, and he said, "No, just a three ounce." So don't miss out on that one. It's, it's an awesome scent. Like I said, it's it's probably not for everyone. Um, it's like a very, to me, I get a very herbaceous, citrusy out of it.
Ooh. I brought my... What's right here? Sorry. Hmm. That was weird. Oh, I brought my, um... My travel home kit with me, but I haven't had a chance to uh, use it. If I get a, when I get a chance, I'll, I'll make a little quick little video of it, showing like show you guys the setup. I need a little bit close because I'm not going to shave all weekend. I brought two straight razors with me, two to practice on. You've seen them both before, nothing new. That's what I like about serving. Just go like this with the wet hand. Plenty of slickness. Sorry guys, my off center a little bit, huh? Good, calling it, calling it good, I think. Yep. Good shave, really good shave, guys. I do have the um, splash with this, but I, I don't. I don't use it. The splash doesn't quite work on me. <laughs> I'm not sure what the deal is. But here's what I do. Here's what I like. This is my sebum. This is actually sebum green now. I love this stuff. As I said before, I use it as my night oil, night moisturizer, whatever you want to call it. When I shave, I put a little bit more on, right? Because of the the damp, the damage that you do to the face. Great, great shave. All right, and they rinse off. Just uh, cleaning out the brush a little bit here. I missed, missed a couple spots with the razor. One second. There. All right, let's do a little recap. All right. Parasol, boar brush, great little brush. Um, you guys, I don't know if you guys care about the bottom, but I, I just love this handle. If, if, oh man, if, if this, if this, okay. If this knot was the same density as my Zenith, perfect, perfect brush, perfect brush. Handle everything, the whole nine yards. So if you guys know about that, let me know. Uh, Rockwell 6S with a 
Gillette Wilkinson sword blade in it. This is, I want to say it's the seventh use. Um, don't hold me to it. It's six or seven. And then I went with Sterling's Glacial Strawberry Lemonade. It's a really, really nice soap. Great for summer. I mean, great. It really does have that strawberry lemonadiness to it. It's, it's great. All right. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I'm looking forward to my weekend like you guys can't imagine. I'm pretty excited about this. So we'll see how it goes. The next shave, I will give a recap on how it goes. All right. So until next time, everybody, God bless each and every one of you. And as always, please do not text and drive. God bless.